speak at last. As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, traveler. Or should I say, taken. Some who mean you ill. Some who fear your potential. I cannot speak of such things in this place. The cursed gaze of our foes is cast upon us here. So, I will be brief. Great powers are gathering within the distant lands of the fallen Corvan people. And the Great Eye has decreed that you must play a part. Far to the east, beyond mountains and rivers. Weeks of travel by foot. A mere instant through an eldritch gate. I am sorry, I cannot say more here. All you need to know is that you have mutual interests and the same enemies. So, you have come, as the Oracle of Dreeg had foreseen. You are in the Corvan Basin, a land ravaged by gods and man alike. A land whose secrets are now coveted by a determined few. As for this camp, this is the Conclave of the Three, a gathering of occultists, warlocks and witches that serve the witch gods. The three have decreed that I seek out worthy allies in our battle against a common foe. But are you indeed the one we seek? Go to the center of the camp before the statues. Kanatha, mistress of the Sentinels, awaits you to begin the Eldritch Rites. In time, all your questions will have answers of their own. of Dreeg spoke of your arrival. Their mad choir whispers of you marching alongside our forces into the tomb of the Eldritch Sun and emerging triumphant. But even their eyes cannot peer into what I offer. The Shattered Realm is unlike anything mankind has ever witnessed. The emissary warned me of your coming. But whether you may remain here is not a matter of his choosing. I will decide who stays. Save your questions for the scholars. Right now, my...
emissary was right, as usual. You have earned the right to stand up. I could hear the battle from here. So then, are you ready to open your eyes to powers beyond imagining? Ah yes, ever driven by action. I admire your conviction. The fated hour is nearly upon us. Soon we shall strike as one against our formidable foe. While we may be allies in this endeavor, the cults do not always uh, see eye to eye on all matters. It is best for the sake of peace that you assist only one of the cults. When I first stood before the witch gods, I said to them that I shall serve in this life and the next if need be, but I shall only ever serve the three. Not Bismar, not Trig, not Solan. And so, I am the herald of the gods, the one who spreads their message and finds worthy allies. Promise. Perhaps you would be of value to Celile. It remains to be seen if the emissary was right about you. Celile does not need your help, but that does not mean we cannot benefit one another. Only those willing to make any sacrifice, to go to any ends necessary, are of use to Celile. Cruel. The world is cruel. Celile is the youngest of the three, but do not mistake that for weakness. His mastery of the Eldritch Fire is without equal. The very essence of the Eldritch Realm is for him to mold as he sees fit, and he shares this knowledge with his loyal servants.
weeping spines do not lie. You have come to fragment the memories of the forgotten. But who will stand by your side? Will you step into the spider's web? Much purpose flows within you. Allow me to temper that potential. Through the Great Guardian's eyes, we shall divine the true path beyond humanity's struggles. The strands of fate have been exposed to his infinite gaze. His wounds weep for our future, just as his reach seeks a path through the calamities that still await. Dreeg is the oldest of the Witch Gods. He sought to know all, to witness the truth in the fabric of our reality. He cast aside the ancient warnings, threw caution to the wind, and reached beyond the curtain that seek. You've been quite a sight since entering our camp. I'm shivering with anticipation for what's next. But will you be at my side, my dear? Who needs to see the future when you can manipulate it from the shadows? Salial would have you play with fire and get burnt. But Bismiel offers you the true gifts of the Eldritch Realm. Bismiel is like a Dreadweave Widow. Sultry, manipulative, and deadly. A favorite legend among the rabble is that the secrets of the Eldritch Realm were whispered in the goddess's ear by a spider. I believe it happened on a night of fire and passion, of betrayal and lust for power. The Lady of Whispers always gets her way in the end. It was by her machinations that the Empire's Inquisitors spent centuries aimlessly hunting for the Witch God cults. Then what I've heard is true. You do have some sense to accompany your affinity for carnage. The Schemer's Web demands my utmost attention. For now, speak to Elaine here at my camp. The Forgotten God stirs within his temple. But plans have been set in motion to see to his destruction. Elaine has heard the Lady's will and knows how to proceed. So you've chosen to fight under Bismil's banner. A wise decision. In the end, we all serve Bismil's will. Yes, I have been tasked with the preparations for the upcoming battle, and you will assist me. The Lady of Whispers has decreed that we are to gather powerful essence from the Guardians of Corvin Temples. They call it Blood of the Watchers, though it is not blood in the literal sense. It is pure arcane energy, turned solid within the shells of the Stone Guardians still roaming these lands. Back already. The infused animated Watchers roam. Serve the three and prosper. Deny them. Ah, the cult. 
Court of Bismil, none has displayed greater mastery of binding eldritch beings to their will than the schema.